Here's a quick 30 minute interval high intensity workout for you. Get your water and get ready to follow along and we'll do it together. Brah, your brain's ripped. Okay, we're gonna start doing um, the warm up it's nice and slow the first time to give you an idea. And also, you always wanna warm up and stretch it before you work out. So we'll start with jumping jacks. And you don't want to be going too fast, too hard, because we are at this point just warming up. And what we're trying to do here is get our heart rates up. So we're gonna get into that fat burning zone and also to warm our muscles up so we can stretch out nicely. Next one we're gonna do is squats. To do squats, make sure you're really pushing your butt back, almost over exaggerated to make sure that you're protecting your back from going down properly. So we're gonna go down. Slowly start. fairly new to exercise, definitely want you to start on your knees for push-ups and shoulder width apart, wrist slightly in. Use some dumbbells if you have wrist issues and hold on to them. Body completely forward. You want to keep your body completely straight. You don't want to be up like this doing them. Keep your core nice and tight. If you are an old expert, obviously, get off your knees and do push-ups. But keep in mind, you're actually just warming up. This is not your workout itself. After you do push-ups, we're gonna go into a plank. Just like here. And just make sure your core is nice and tight. The whole time I'm down here, I'm actually tightening everything in here, racing like I'm getting punched. I'm going to go right into my first stretch. So go right into your downward dog like this. Now I've had back surgery, Achilles surgery. I'm the most unflexible person ever. So if you can't at least do this, then I should see a car like this or something. Uh, once you get into your downward dog, you want to use a lot of pressure on your index fingers and really push out. And we're gonna start walking the dog. So we're gonna stretch out our calves side to side. Okay, 
and you should really starting to feel your body temperature rising. Your heart rate should be going up and you should be starting to get stretched out a little bit. side to side so you're going to hold your leg in not fall over and just stretch a little bit to the side really pull in a little bit and we're going to go side to side Next, we're going to spread our legs a little bit and go into a hamstring stretch and so slowly go down. Lead with your chest over to your leg. Don't be leaning with your head. Lead with your chest and push down. Slowly work your way down. Again, you should be able to go down further than I can on these. Slowly walk your way over to your other leg. Now we're ready to actually get started. We're gonna be going really fast. We're gonna do each of those exercises for approximately one minute. Then you get a minute of drink break. Your total work time is only 15 minutes. So hold on, you can do it. Right, we'll go a little slower the first one. Jumping jacks. Pace yourself because you know you're gonna to have to do this circuit three different times. And I realize that all of you are at different fitness levels. Do what you can, keep moving. If you have to, take a little break, keep going. But get through this whole minute of jumping jacks. Do not sit down. If you have to pause, take that breath, do it. Keep going again. Or go really slow. Just keep doing that one minute. Keep 
you need to take a quick breather, take a quick breather. circuit. Don't do the collapse. <laughs> the collapse is not good because one, trust me, after you collapse like this, it takes that much more energy to get up. Slowly just come up to your knees, stand up. Water is not an option. You need to get water. No matter who you are, you should be tired and starting to be a little bit out of breath from that workout. If not, you're not pushing yourself hard enough. Make sure you're pushing yourself as hard as you personally can. So we've got a little bit of time left for our break. But you're already one third of the way through this entire workout. Whoa, I got ugly all of a sudden. I'm just kidding. This is my wife here to do a round. She wanted to jump in. All right, let's start with those jumping jacks. And again, I convinced my wife to go on screen, even though she hates being on screen, just because I think it's helpful to see how you can go at your own independent fitness level. You can definitely make the workout your own. This is a workout that you can do multiple times. You can take it with you, take your phone outside, hit play, and just go to it. You know you're gonna get a solid interval workout, and you'll have someone suffering along with you so that you can keep going and going and going. And it's definitely not an easy workout by any means, even though it's very simple. There's a lot of science behind these intervals. And you can see my wife is already desperately looking for the clock to save her. You still have nine more seconds. And good, now let's get into our squats. And 
And you notice my wife did the right thing there. Her feet were a little too close to part. She s separated them a little bit. She probably wants to separate them a little bit more. And make sure as you're doing squats, one, make sure you're far enough back. You want to make sure that your knees are not going out over the tip of your tips of your toes. If you're doing that, you are going too far forward. You also want to try to make sure you can see in front of you. So you're going to keep your head up and back and go at your own pace, do the best you can. Only 10 seconds left and you are done squatting. At least until you have your fiber drink later and it comes back. All right, you are done that. Let's hit the deck and do our reverse crunches. So good, again, focus really on, don't worry about doing super speed on these. The important thing is to get the contraction. You're really, I mean, every time you're doing an exercise, think about what you're doing. The muscles you are working here, you're really working on your abdominals. So bring your legs up and make sure you're just giving that little bit of that upper body pull at the top. Again, not pulling at all on your neck. That's why I never like people holding their hands behind their head because human nature as we get tired, we just try to um, pull ourselves forward. You can keep your hands behind like your ears. So just so you're getting that extra weight, that's still a good thing to do. You just wanna make sure that you are not pulling your head. You're letting your abdominals do the work. Now we're gonna go over into our push-ups. Push-up time. And again, you're doing your own fitness level. This person must be a rock star. She's knocking out real push-ups. If you can't do them, don't feel sorry. Most people at some point in their lives are not able to do push-ups. You gotta start working. Get those knee push-ups rocking and slowly work your way up. And that's the same modification you should do. Do a few real push-ups, you get too tired. Switch to knee push-ups and keep going. And just like Brittany is doing here, keep your core nice and straight and tight. Anytime you're doing these kind of workouts, you really wanna be thinking about keeping your core safe. Now we're gonna go into our planks. Just one minute of this and you get a water break. These big movements, keeping your core tight is essential. It's very easy to hurt yourself if you're not. But the beauty is since you're doing these big movements, you can burn a ton of calories. Not just during the workout, but also there's a big afterburn when you're working big muscles, so even up to 48 hours later, you are still potentially burning calories. You are almost there. You have 10 seconds left, roughly. Just hold that plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And water break. Oh no, you're stuck on camera drinking your water. You drink that water. Drink it. Isn't that just what every wife wants on camera? Out of breath after a workout. Makeup off. Exposed to the whole world. If you're concerned about that stuff when you're doing this kind of workout, you're probably not pushing yourself quite hard enough. Good. <laughs> Last round, make sure you're pushing as hard as you possibly can. Jump again. Yes. So if you can go super fast, you go super fast. Everything you've got, put into it.
feel like I'm doing uh, that Terry Crews workout. If you haven't seen that, that's pretty darn funny. Terry Crews working out. He goes kind of crazy. He looks like huge dumbbells in his hands and starts dancing around. But push as hard as you can. You need to take a little break. Take one. Come on, as you can, just keep moving. Bounce on your toes, calves should be burning. Now it's your squats. Squat far enough back. It's not dirty. Uh, 
branch chain amino acids, glutamine, good for recovery. Learn more about those anytime you want. Follow me online, learn more about that kind of information. How much water should you be getting a day? A lot. My itty bitty wife has a gallon of water a day. I usually have more. You definitely need to get a lot of water. Basically everything. It doesn't mean you have to carry a big jug around, but definitely need a lot of that water. So that was the regular workout. Bonus round for those of you that got the guts to stay wet. If you don't, then just push ahead about five minutes and you will have your cool down stretch and workout. But for those of you that can handle it, stick with it for more rounds. Okay, for those of you who really want to be hardcore, I've got a bonus round for you. If you're just starting out, you're probably going to want to skip this and skip right ahead to the, to the stretches. But if you got what it takes, pull out one more round. And down to our squats. Remember on those squats, you're making sure your knees are not tracking out over your toes. Your butt's going way back. You're almost exaggerating. It's almost like you're purposely sticking your butt out way behind you. And you're keeping your shoulders back and up so you're able to still see in front of you. Now if you're really toast, probably all you can do just to get your legs up like this. If you got a little more, really crunch upward as well. Pushing that upper body together, almost like you're pinching them together. Definitely proud of you for sticking around for these balls. Five more seconds. Let's move into our push ups. Do whatever push ups you can. And 
up into our plank. I promise there is not a second hidden bonus round. Hopefully, if you are actually doing this exercise, you are also keeping the diet in check. Your body cannot change just by the exercise alone. You need to fuel your body appropriately. Make sure after this workout, you get a little bit of protein in, a little bit of carbohydrates, a lot of water. Your body needs fuel to work properly. Only 20 seconds left. Are ready to stretch out. Five, four, three, two, one, stretch. Grab some water, then be ready to stretch out. Oh no, the actor is gone. What do we do? We can't survive. No leadership. Oh, there she is. Now I finally know how to drink water. I did not know how to do that before. Which is kind of a joke, but at the same time, I have so many students and clients who do not know how to drink water. Mama said that drinking water was the devil. Well, the water boy does not think water is the devil. So you have five seconds left of water drinking time and then we will stretch out for reels. So time to stretch and cool down. Do whatever stretches you think you need to do. You know your body best. I'm gonna do a few that I know I need. For me, my shoulders are really sore. So I'm definitely gonna stretch my shoulders out well. I like using this cuff method, pulling across. Some people like to do it this way. Definitely pull that shoulder well. And also with all of our push-ups, triceps are really sore. Pull back. And I actually like to add to the side at the same time to get a side stretch as well. Got two birds and one stone. We got two sides. The other arm. So if you stuck with that, you did an excellent workout. You're gonna burn a lot. That's something that you shouldn't be just doing once and then never do again. By the same token, you're working a lot of muscles even though it's a short period of time. You're working very hard. It's not something you should be doing every single day. For most of you starting out, a type of workout like that, might be good just once a week. I have no balance, so I'm gonna stretch my quads, but I'm gonna find something to hold on to. As you do this quad stretch, do not pull to outwardly, pull inwardly, be as close as possible. A lot of people uh, like to do them with your opposite hand even, so you're making sure you're staying closer. It definitely is a way to keep from your knee going out too far. If your knee goes out too far like that, you're injuring yourself and you're not getting through the stretch. Strings are always the trouble area as well. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go forward, get them staggered behind me. Around. Leading to the chest. Most of you can do a little bit of weight right here. Now, a lot of you might be wondering how difficult these intervals are to do. Why well, don't I just, it's way easier to just, why don't I go for a jog for 40 minutes instead? Studies have shown that comparably three times a week, doing three 40 minute steady state cardio exercises, you're not going to burn as much if you do uh, three high intensity interval workouts um, in a half the amount of time, you're still going to get more than burn. It's especially good because it's also work out back here. Straight down. Uh, you 
still get definitely a good burn, um, but it's also a good way to prep for more difficult exercises. You want to do something like boot camp, um, you want to do like Les Mills body pump or any of those workouts in the gym um, where you have a trainer leading the course, these, uh, some circuits like this are going to be a good way to prepare you uh, for doing them and to get more out of them. Because if you can't even do things like basic push-ups and squats, you're going to struggle a lot more. Now, for some of you, you might already be perfectly stretched out. For myself, I definitely need to do a calf stretch because I, uh, I did rupture one of my Achilles tendons. A couple ways you can do it, you can find something like a wall, angle it. Most of your stretches, you want to hold uh, probably about 30 seconds. And again, you know your body, you know what you need to stretch out. Be smart about it. Make sure you at least skip a day in between. Get those proper nourishments too. I'll see you soon. Bro, how'd you get so defined at vascular? It's just science, man. Pick up a book and read. Hope you got in a good workout. You can do that every week. You can do it even a few times a week if you want. Please make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe. Also check out some of the other clips. Have a good one.